Excited about phone blocks? Well, don't hold your breath because it'll probably never happen. Last week, a video hit the web announcing a new concept for a phone called Phone Blocks. Now, the way Phone Blocks hypothetically works is you'd have different blocks hooked up to your phone, which could be swapped out on the fly to upgrade different portions of your smartphone. Phone running slow? Swap out the memory block for a faster one. Camera not good enough? Swap it out for a bigger one. Etc. Etc. Sure, on paper it sounds like a great idea, but in reality, it probably would never work. Here's why. Now, for starters, smartphones rely on high-speed signals to produce the maximum amount of power in a limited space. And in order to achieve that, things like the RAM and processors are brought together on one CPU chip. But Phone Blocks wants to spread them around willy-nilly, thus instantly negating any additional performance enhancements given by packaging the parts closer together. Then you have things like actual placement, since typical phones are designed in such a way to maximize communications between parts. If your phone block has a processor in the wrong spot, it could hypothetically unnecessarily slow down your phone. Plus, for all of this to even work, you'd have to create a standardized input device that would ensure any and all combinations would work 100% of the time. And with the idea of millions upon millions of combinations, that type of QA testing simply isn't scalable. But that's not to say an idea like this couldn't work in the future. In fact, Intel is working on optical interconnected chips that could lead to more modular designs in high-speed communications. But that still is at least five years from happening. In short, Phone Blocks is a great idea on paper, but it probably isn't going to happen anytime soon. What do you guys think? Will Phone Blocks actually find its way onto a production line soon? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Brown. They're saying, I'm sorry for crushing your dreams, internet, but that's what I was hired to do. Also, the Easter Bunny is not real. It's your parents. Ready to film magical screens coming at you live, but on tape and hours, maybe days later. Here we go!